Open close principle says that software entities like class, modules, functions should be open for extension but closed for modification. That means that once the class or module developed for any functionality, thereafter for any change request, it should not be reopened for modification. Rather than modification, functionality should be added to the class by cleverly using the OOPS principle like polymorphism. For demonstration, I am gonna create project OCP. Next create a package com.user. Within a package, create a class user which will going to have main function to execute the application. Suppose we have a use case to create an application to draw vector sketch. Can be made of different shapes like circle, square, rectangle, triangle. Currently, customer have a requirement to create an application that should help him to draw vector sketch of circle and rectangle. For all application specific classes, we create package com.ocp. Within the package, create class circle with method create circle and draw circle. Circle requires radius details from the user that we gonna capture through create circle method and the method draw circle gonna be responsible to draw the circle that is some output to user similarly we create a class rectangle with variable start x start y end x and end y points better to capture the inputs when the object is created that is within the constructor modify circle for that and also modify the rectangle class also create draw rectangle method where we display the rectangle details now within the main class user we can create a circle first then rectangle then again one more circle after all the vector image is created user can call specific draw method to display it you can see the output on a console to reduce the user task we can create one more class sketch where can register all the vector images and at last call the single draw method which will iterate through all the register shapes and call the specific appropriate draw method of the class. To maintain a list of registered shape, create an array list with method create shape, which accepts the shape object and add it to the list. Create a generic draw sketch method, will iterate through all the registered objects, check if the instance of registered object belong to any of the vector shape class, then call the appropriate method. If circle, then draw circle, if rectangle, then draw rectangle. This approach will help the reduction in user effort to some extent. User can directly create and register the shape and at last can call the single draw sketch method. Okay, working fine. With this design, if there gonna be any change request, will result in the modification of the sketch class. Suppose the new request is to add the shape square. For that, first we create a class square with variable length that we capture in constructor and the draw square method to display result to the user. Next, we have to make modification to the sketch class to incorporate squares. For any such request, requires the modification and the compilation of the sketch class. A sketch class is not closed for modification. Now let's use an approach to close the sketch class for modification. But that requires some class or interface to be open for extension. For that, first we create an interface shape with one method draw. Next create class circle and implement the interface shape to it. We have to implement the draw shape method. Again we have to capture the radius detail from user through constructor. Now all the display functionality will go inside draw shape method extended from the interface shape. Similarly create 
class rectangle capture detail and put the display functionality inside the draw shape method extended form interface shape next again to reduce the user effect we create a class sketch with a release to hold the register shape with create shape method to capture the shape details from user and register it to the list next we create a draw sketch method which will iterate through all the registered shape and call the draw shape method of each one that's it now let's modify the user code to create and draw few shapes first create the circle then rectangle and at last call the draw sketch method of sketch class Now we got a new request to it, square class. For that, create a class square, implement shape interface to it, capture the length details from the user to constructor, and implement the overridden draw shape method to display the details. There is no need to modify the sketch class. We can directly create and register the instance of a square to sketch class. We can see the output. Now we can say the sketch class is closed for modification, but that requires the shape interface to be open for extension.